a wishaba from the fairy kingdoms. We behold a key to unlock a door for you all. The key to this door exists inside a holographic portal called the Anansi. Through the Anansi portal you will come to a doorway that will lead you into a place called Divinity. Inside you go to collect your key, imagine it the way you want, and be in that sacred space to collect the key, for in that space opens the door of, release. Now take this key and open a door with it. Any door. Now go through that door to find another door and through that one, till you find the tiniest door of, all. Now try and fit your key into it. Is your key too big? Then make it small, as small as you can make it. Now fit it into the keyhole. Open the tiny door and enter. Are you too big? Then be small. Start by becoming as small, as you can. Because big doors are open to anyone, while the small doors aren't. And it is yes within the smallest door you can find that which will open up the biggest door of, all. For in the small lies the big and within the biggest there lies the smallest. Now the question will arise for many, that are still doors away from their smallest door. How do I get small enough, to pass through this door I have in front of me at this time, never mind the smallest one? Well firstly stop linearizing and just multi-hop to the last door, and get on with it, or you'll never go through any doors. So on to the smallest door we go. How does it look? Pretty tiny eh? Oh yes it is. And so we turn to you looking rather big in comparison. Now, in growing small, is a fine art. And so to be in this fine art way one must transform thee, into a comet. So that you can fire yourself in the hole, from out of nowhere. So swallow that thought and create the big knot. Burning up we go kabam we explode upon impact into a million pieces. Now become that part that is between the pieces, and connect to that and flow into that door and out the other side. Just like that. And so swoosh like a wind full of particles through the tiny small door. Congratulations and bang. The door shuts behind you, and there in front of you, is a huge giant crouching over with a club. He grunts, at you and you begin to manifest. You become the same size as him. He stands up straight, and looks you in the eyes and smiles. He points to a huge door, which you pass through with ease, into a feather grass garden. Your ankles tickle as you walk through making you dance along the way until you bump into a tree. The tree remarks and to whom is it, to be told a fairy lore it is I, the great giant, of Inishmore the place where one becomes more, you say. Ah, the land of Inishmore the place where one becomes more say the tree. I know it well. Sit down giant and rest yourself. I have a story for you, to tickle your giant shoe. It was once upon a time, where Inishmore the place of becoming more came to be. In this place there existed a race of beings called the Elohim. They were angelic and created the tablets of the great tree. Some used it well. Some turned it into a hell, while the others just conjured up a few spells. All in all, things began to flourish from the kingdoms of the great tree. The earth became the newest in Ishmore the place where one becomes more. The first seed to be planted here was of course of the great tree where all life began. Fruits of wisdom and wonder grew from the great tree, which fed the land with so much more. For it was the first tree that was seated in the land of Inishmore the place where one becomes more. Here within this great tree was great knowledge, and so the first humans came to inspect this great tree, when they eventually arrived in Inishmore the place where one becomes more. 
The tree told them what they could do, where they could go and what magic they all could bestow. The humans were in their primal essence, and evolved to be great magicians and beautiful beings that communicated with each other telepathically and spiritually. And so over time the humans forgot there ever was a tree. It was a wondrous time in Inishmore the place, where one becomes more and more they did become, and whole they became until the great tree suddenly disappeared only leaving its shadow behind. In the place of Inishmore where one becomes more, having no use in a place of more didn't fit with the great score. So to the humans that became great giants, who know everything and achieved everything and so created the illusion that they were better than everything, banished the tree. You see, when you pass through the big door you come to realize there is bound to be another door. And so with that in Inishmore the place, where one becomes more you have to realize that in closing the door once, and for all you shut down Inishmore the place where one becomes more. Now the great human giants got locked in a room of no more doors contradicting the score. And within these walls walks other beings, that like to have no more doors. And so you forgot about Inishmore the place where one becomes more. And so the great tree's shadow was used to find the score, to bring back a reverse side of Inishmore the place where one becomes less. It became Inish less. In Inish less one become less, and has been that way for quite a day. No blame and no fame. This is evolution at play with itself. This is the big cheer from many a galactic evolutionary sphere. And now as the human approaches their smallest they are starting to swoosh into the big hall once again, but this time they don't discredit the ball, and keep score with it all, to reinstate the door and inish more the place where one becomes more. And so the great tree comes back into the hall of the whack, where there was a period of no door and so no score and thus of course no inish more the place where one becomes more. The great big human has become small for they walked away from the foolery of being big, where they set up systems of belief that propagate that big is better. Now they remember that big was not better for in big we close the door for we create the illusion there is no more door. But in no more door we leave in more the place where one becomes more. And to become more we always must have a door. And so, as in every duality, in every room, even the room of no door you will still find a small door in the wall, but only if you become small. And in becoming small we are in fact tuning our light to take flight, beyond the holographic projector of ourselves into that meld, that will rattle a door or two, to find when your wind picks up speed. Being center and beyond is to be big and small and through it all into the fine art of finding and opening a door beneath the walls that disguise the great fall. In walls we divide and doors we open. Keep opening and may grace welcome you through. And so what now dear giant, what to do with you? Do you want to become small and live in a shoe or what would you like to do? And to that, I hear you say, now that I know that big is not big on its own, and small with big can get you through it all for the illusion of big without small created the great fall. What I do is through what I know, and what I know is quite big now but a big, that can help me go to small and so with that in my now feathered cap, where I can stand tall to stand small and avoid the great fall. A Wishaba from the Fairy Kingdoms